Now, it's easy to pick up the phone and talk to someone on the other side of the world, but how do you get in touch with someone in space? Well, with the help of satellite technology, a school in Wiltshire has been finding out. Hi, my name is Lucy, and this is my school in Neston, in Wiltshire. I bet you're wondering why I'm here in the middle of the summer holidays. Well, today we're back in uniform because we've been given the chance to talk to a real live astronaut in space. The astronaut, Ed, is on board what is known as the International Space Station. It's a huge base which is being built in space to help scientists with all kinds of experiments. We have been planning this for ages and we've had to put up a big aerial in the playground so we can talk to him. NA1SS G4JQX, yeah, terrific signal from you, Ed. Are you ready to take the first question? I sure am, I've got you loud and clear too. My name is Rebecca. What do you do in the spacecraft? Over. Hello, Rebecca. Well, we have a lot of things to do up here. Life is actually quite busy. What training does it take to be an astronaut? Over. Well, it takes a lot of training. And How can you tell when it's night or day? Over. Well, the easiest thing is to just look down on the ground. Because if, it, if you can see the ground very well, then you're on the daylight side of the Earth. What do you do in your spare time? Over. Well, my favorite thing to do in my spare time is to look out the window and take photographs of the Earth. We've had a really fun day today. If you want to learn how your school can do this too, just log on to the Newsround website. This is Lucy reporting for Newsround. Thanks, Lucy.